We set a goal for ourselves in collaboration with Stumbletown Distilling, another micro distiller here in Saskatoon, uh, that we wanted to produce 8,000 liters in three days. There are a lot of similarities. Uh, we are taking alcohol, we are measuring it, we are mixing it, and we are bottling it. We're following the World Health Organization guidelines for the production, emergency production of alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Uh, the recipe is, is pretty easy for us. Oh, I do caution people against going online and trying to make some at home. High proof alcohol has a really low flash point. It's extremely flammable. Uh, you really do need calibrated equipment to measure the amount. If you're off by a few percentages, it could be completely ineffective. We are limiting distribution to first responders people who are putting their lives at risk to keep us safe and don't have the luxury of being within 30 feet of a hand washing station. I was a primaker physician when H1N1 happened, uh, but this is nothing like that. It's a fine line between trying to convince people that uh, you have to take this seriously. Uh, it is a very infectious and potentially fatable, or fatal uh, infection, uh, but don't panic. Please <laughs> relax. Uh, don't inundate us with requests for hand sanitizer. We are at this point just limiting to those first responders because uh, this virus is really susceptible to soap and water and hand washing is the best defense. Uh, the COVID virus has a lipid envelope and if you can imagine Put a drop of dish soap in an oily sink, how well that works.